I'm Sarah Storelli, on a quest to discover the people behind the cutting edge innovations across industries, to tell the stories that define them far more than their titles. My guest today is David Appel. Well, thanks so much for being with me here on the podcast today, David. Immensely appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Sarah. I really appreciate it. Of course. Well, so let's dive in. I would first love to know how your culture has really influenced you personally and or professionally. Sure. Um, so I grew up in a family where I'm the first male to graduate from okay. college. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, my, my parents did well. But, you know, it was always living paycheck to paycheck to some extent. So I really learned a hard work ethic. Um, and I think that's taken me through uh, my entire career um, and and always not taking anything for granted and and always having to work hard, um, have a plan and, and just, you know, go after it and don't and take take on challenges. And so I think that's the biggest thing that I've taken away from, you know, growing up in the culture and the, and the family that I grew up in. Yeah. And where were you based growing up? Uh, I've lived all over the United States on the East Coast. Um, most of my uh, uh, life uh, before college, I, I lived in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so good blue collar uh, steel mill mentality. Uh, but I've also lived in New York and Ohio and Connecticut and Georgia and Florida. Um, and, then, and then I've lived all over the D, uh, metro DC area, Maryland and Virginia uh, after college and in, in my career. Um, and then also in, I've lived in California and, and the United Kingdom. Oh, love it. I was going to say, maybe we'll get you to California, but oh, yeah, you have I've been, already uh, been there. I've already been there. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Well, based on all of that, who do you think really along the way has inspired you the most to go make the world a better place? Um, well, it starts with my family uh, and, and, and what my, my parents, uh, you know, uh, raised my sister and I in, in that family. Um, but then as I've you know, taking on my career and, and, and I've been around the U.S. government uh, my whole career uh, with both AWS and, and previous previous employers. And and just seeing the impact that that people that whether they're in the DOD uh, or or civilian agency or the intel, the effect they have on not only the U.S., but the world to make it a better place and a safer place. Uh, you can't help but be inspired by what they do and do everything you can to help them. Um, and then I now have a son that's in the U.S. Army. And so, um, you know, doing anything I can do to continue to help, you know, him as an individual as well. And, and, and his and his service is something that, you know, is a passion. Well, thank you so much to him for his service yeah. as well. We immensely appreciate that and you for being that shepherd to him along the way. Now, to that point here at AWS, we are, of course, focused on mission. And with you being vice president of our U.S. federal business, you know, I'd love to know really what opportunities you see with these missions and how AWS can help. Yeah, so I, I took over the federal business just over just about a year ago, uh, previously the national lead in just national security. And it, it became really clear to me that that independent of the vertical we were in, whether it's national security, defense, civilian, Fed financials, or even our, our uh, federal partners, that there were common missions or themes that cut across each of those businesses that um, we should be taking advantage of and horizontally helping each other uh, versus just doing it in our stovepipes. So over the last year, we've worked on uh, a set of themes, uh, missions that, that uh, the solutions are gonna be common across those, those, uh, those markets. Maybe the last mile is a little bit different for the uniqueness of, of those customers, but there are things like resil resiliency, security, uh, data management, uh, supply chain, uh, citizen experience and then uh, sense making, and and the, the our customers have common problems, uh, uh, and we need to be we need to look at it how we can take advantage in the synergy between those customers to get better solutions for our customers. Absolutely, and to build upon that, what type of opportunities do you think generative AI is going to play oh, for wow. these missions? Uh, generate generative AI is a game changer. Um, there is so much, uh, if I think about in the national security and defense space, if I start there, um, there is so much data being, uh, you know, to help those missions coming on from satellites, for example, that all, that data has to be ingested, that data has to be processed, it has to be stored, it has to be analyzed. Um, there's more data now, it's, a, it's, it's data explosion. And so there's only so much that a human can see. There's only so many humans that can actually do it. Um, and so, Putting generative AI in to help an analyst uh, make sense of that data 
um, and focus on you know where the human needs to make the decision is a game changer. And that's not just for national security defense, that's in the civilian space, whether it's earth observing data uh, for, for climate change or where it's a defense mission, uh, whether it's in, in the civilian space, whether it's trying to get uh, fraud detection uh, uh, or, or anomaly detection on certain events. Um, it's just, it, it'll save time and increase the, um, uh, the accuracy of what takes now a lot of time for humans to process themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So given that and as your role as, as vice president for US Federal, is there any one certain, I know that sticks out the most that you're most excited about just for the potential of what is in the federal space? Yeah, I, you know, it ties back to Gen AI because um, that is such a game changer for us. But what we're seeing more and more is we're moving closer and closer to the, the mission of our customers. Uh, we have done a, a, a fantastic job growing up with our CIOs and they are continue to be at the bread and butter of our organization and our growth, um, uh, the normal storage and compute, but we're moving up the stack. And as we get further out to the actual uh, missions or the operators, of, the, of, of what's needed. We're finding new capabilities and new opportunities for us. And it's a much broader market space for us and just provides a huge amount of growth. Given AWS mission focus, I think it'll be amazing to see how these all come to fruition. Uh, so with that, also in your role, is there any one specific Amazon leadership principle that is your most favorite and why? Uh, it's gotta be customer obsession uh, because it all starts with the customer. Um, if, we're, if we're making our customers uh, uh, delighted, um, good things happen, and they happen for a long term. Um, so it, it, it's all about the customer. It's all about their mission to me. Um, but all the all the principles are great. They're they're all fantastic, and trying to understand how they play off each other because they're not all. Sometimes there's conflicts between them, which is good. Um, but but customer obsession, think big and deliver results are, are the three. But it all starts with customer obsession. I love it. I agree. Uh, and with that, what do you want to most be known for to future generations someday when all is said and done? Um, that I had a small part in making a difference. Uh, whether it's with my team individually at the, at the personal level, helping them with their careers, uh, whether it's with our customers, knowing that we gave them capabilities they didn't have before, um, and leaving a legacy of the, of the organization is in a better place uh, than when I, when I started and that I've, that I've left something that's of enduring value. Well, that's amazing. I want to thank you so much for your service here at AWS and thank beyond you. and for your leadership. We immensely appreciate it and are excited to see what else is possible with Generative AI for all these missions that you yeah. are spearheading and working with our customers yeah. on. So thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course.